Hello guys, my name is João Victor and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the latest AMD chipset drivers from AMD's website. Okay, but first of all, we are going to download CPU Z to check the motherboard's chipset. All right, so uh, before we start, open your favorite web browser and type CPU hyphen Z and right uh, left click on CPU Z software's CPU ID. Pay attention to the link, all right? Uh, in here on this page, you're going to scroll down the page and left click on Setup English 32 and 64 bit version. Okay. Uh, close this. Close that that window that pop up, and here, uh, left click on Download Now CPU Z. The, the current version is 2.0. One, so click on download now. And after finish, right cl uh, left click on CPU Z, and here you're going to see a black screen. This black screen for you, uh, in my case, means that I must give the the administrator permission. So. Click on yes, and you're going to do the same thing, all right? Because uh, OBS doesn't record uh, this part, okay? So after you click on yes, you're going to accept the agreement. Next, here you can choose the location the, or the destination of the program. Uh, next, next check this create a desktop icon next install you can uncheck here and finish and here guys what we are going to do is what am i going what i am going to do is open the cpu z click on yes And here, guys, you're going to click on Motherboard. Here you can see the information of your CPU. In my case, is AMD Ryzen 9 59000X. Okay. So left click on Mainboard. And here uh, you can see chipset. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, in Southbridge, on Southbridge, sorry you can see AMD B550, that's my chipset. You're going to pay attention at your motherboard's chipset, okay? And the second thing we are going to do now is to download uh, Microsoft Visual C++ from Tech Power Up, okay? From the website Tech Power Up. I'm going to open Google Chrome again and type here Microsoft Visual C++ Tech Power Up. Power Up. And I'm going to click on the first website shown here, okay? Open the site, this site, okay? Uh, click on download, check if is the same page as I'm showing you here. Click on download. Here you can choose the server. I'm going to choose uh, an American server. I live in Brazil, but it's okay. It doesn't matter the, the server you choose. Uh, and now we are going to close the window, open uh, File Explorer, Explorer, Downloads, click on Downloads, all right. 
And here, guys, uh, left click on Visual C runtimes all in one. We're going to install all, uh, not at the same time, but automatically. I'm going to show you. Uh, and now click uh, with the right click on your mouse and choose uh, let me check extract here if you want if you prefer and now guys I'm going to show what OBS doesn't show okay so I'm going to use the cell phone now so I'll be right back all right guys and what you're going to do next is double click on install underscore all dot bat uh, it will appear that window that prompt that command prompt click yes Yes, again. It is going to install all the latest Microsoft Visual C++. Okay. And it's easy. You're going just to click on Yes button. <laughs> Simple like that. In my case, guys, uh, it is installing as fast as my computer can because I use an a NVMe SSD, so that's the reason, all right? So if you don't have a SSD installed in your computer, I strongly recommend to install a SSD, okay? So, it's done. And now guys, we installed all the Microsoft Visual C++. And I'm going to prove you that. So, uh, right click, uh, left click here. Configuration. Core configurations. Uh, apps. My Windows is in Portuguese, okay? And type here, Microsoft Visual C++. So as you can see here, all the Microsoft Visual C++ is, are installed. They are all installed, okay? And now we are going to uninstall the current AMD chipset driver from your computer and I'm going to do the same in my computer, okay? So type AMD or just delete and search for AMD chipset software. Uh, uninstall, uninstall, yes. Click on yes. The software is verifying the hardware installed in your computer. And here, guys, uh, this window will pop up. And all these options will be checked. So left click on Install. And now all the drivers from the chipset are being installed. All right. Now go drink a cup of coffee, a cup of water, orange juice, grape juice, or whatever. Uh, and why 
we need to do this. It is very important, guys, to install the latest AMD chipset drivers, especially for AMD, all right? Because AMD always is always improving the performance, fixing some bugs, uh, some security problems, and so on. All right, that's the reason. That's why you need to install the latest AMD chipset drivers. All right. So the the AMD chipset drivers are installed. All right. So let's close this window and I'm going to restart the computer so I recommend that you guys also restart the computer okay guys I already restarted my computer now I'm going to show you that the AMD chipset drivers are installed okay I'm going to type AMD there is no app found okay and now what we need to do is open your favorite web browser type amd oops amd uh, left click on drivers and support and here guys pay attention here chipsets because i already know my chipset is B550 so chipset uh, left click on chipsets uh, the socket of my platform is AM4 so you if you're using TR4 STRX4 SWRX8 choose the cur the your current platform all right I'm using AM4 so I'm going to click to select AM4. My current chipset is B550, so I'm going to select and submit. And here, guys, we have uh, two operating systems here Windows 11 and Windows 10. I'm, I am using Windows 10 64 bit, so I'm going to select, uh, uh, click on Windows 10 64 bit and as you can see here the latest version of the driver is 4.06.10.651 and the release date is uh, June 27th all right you can here or you can click here to see the details the release notes, here we can see the release notes, the highlights and the known issues, operating systems supported by this chipset driver, the processors, the, the package we can see here in this page, the package contents. So here we can see bug, some bug fixes, bug fixes and performance improvement, new program supported support a deed and new drivers a deed and so on all right i'm going to back to that to the previous page so i'm going to select windows 10 64 bit and i'm going to download the new chipset drivers i was using uh, the the previous one so now I'm going to install the latest version all right so we can left click here yes because I'm going to install uh, the newest version the new version all right let's wait a new window will pop up as you can see here Uh, let all these chips, uh, all these drivers checked. All right. Click on install.
but let's wait till it finishes the installation. And remember, keep all your drivers up to date. Okay, guys? Let's wait a little bit more. And it's done. And now I recommend that you restart your PC once again. All right, I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I have just restarted my PC and I'm going to show you configurations, apps, search for AMD chipset software. And here, guys, I'm using the same version. Uh, let me search here AMD drivers and support. Chipsets, socket, AMD socket AM4, B550, in my case, all right. Summit, Windows 10 64 bit. And you can compare here, guys, this with this, with this one here. So I am using the current version. And remember, it's important to keep all the drivers in your PC up to date. Okay, guys, uh, I've already said the reason how to install the Microsoft Visual C++, how to remove the current chipset driver in your computer and install the latest AMD chipset driver. All right, so hit the thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, share the link of this video with your family, friends, pets, and so on. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This helps me a lot to keep making new videos for you guys, all right? So see you next time. Bye-bye.